Good evening. My name is Tammy. I'm the president of Fun and Adventure at Singles Travel International. And uh, tonight we are hosting a travel preview about Scandinavian summer singles cruise aboard the celebrity, the beautiful celebrity Apex. It's not until the summer of 2025, but I know that we have to stay ahead of this very well-traveled um, group of members that we have. Uh, so many are going to the Arctic Circle this summer, and we added this departure to our agenda for 25 because it's the next step. Uh, we're going to be covering some exciting Baltic, Scandinavian countries, all within a safe range. And uh, Christina Falcone from Celebrity Cruises is here to present the itinerary, talk about the ship, and then she's got a special bonus for those members that make their booking early. So without um, more explanation, I'm going to turn it over to Christina. Christina, welcome. Hello, Tammy. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here for another incredible travel preview. Great. Thank you for coming. Excellent. So let's dive right in to the incredible uh, itinerary for the Scandinavian capitals in uh, summer of 2025. And it's so important to book that travel early because Tammy and her team do such an incredible job of securing incredible rates for travelers um, with an all-included rate of drinks and Wi-Fi. So if you're traveling this summer, you're going to have an amazing time. And if you missed out on this summer, no worries. There's still incredible opportunity for 2025. So let's dive right in. So my name is Christina Falcone, the field sales manager with Celebrity Cruises. And just to get you started, we're going to talk a little bit about what is Celebrity Cruises. So getting to know who we are. So we are an award-winning resort at sea, traveling to over 300 different destinations aboard 16 ships and across all seven continents. What, may, stands, uh, what makes Celebrity Cruises unique is the fact that Celebrity Cruises is also the first cruise line to be Forbes Travel Guide rated. And the Celebrity Apex is actually one of the five ships that received the accolade in 2023, receiving a four-star rating from uh, Forbes Travel Guide. So in receiving that um, incredible accolade allows for celebrity cruises to be continued to be stood upon the um, highest recommended and the highest standard of travel, whether it's luxury and the service that you receive when you step aboard a celebrity cruises ship to the culinary experience. So we really just are so proud of our ship and of course, the beautiful celebrity apex. So we really kind of divide our guests into four different categories. And with that, I'm sure each of you can find a little bit of yourself in these four categories. So our culture, our, our guests are overwhelmingly culturally curious indulgers. I dare you to say that five times fast. With that, we really just kind of segment the our guests into four different buckets. All of them, of course, if you found a Venn diagram, you would find that they all overlap and meet in the middle. And that's where we find those culturally curious indulgers. So the foodie, no matter where you go, food is your favorite part of traveling is trying out the local cuisine and the best restaurants of any place you visit. The cultural enthusiast, it's important to learn about the rich history of any place you're visiting and important and visit important historical sites and museums and plenty to see on a Scandinavian itinerary. The maverick, sometimes maybe it's getting off the ship and wandering your way around the new town that you're visiting and stumbling upon and living like a local and exploring more than just the cultural, major cultural landmarks. And then the indulgence seeker vacation is all about treating yourself and you love to experience luxury on board and abroad. So no matter what type of guest you type you may tend to be, you will find that each of these is a little bit of um, a way to find that you are a welcome on board celebrity cruises because we really do focus on what matters most to our guests. Between the destination where you can visit up to eight different de destinations in just one voyage with unique cultural experiences. And with the um, Apex and with our celebrity ships, having 16 ships within our fleet allows our teams to focus on smaller geographical areas, allowing for more time in the destinations that we are visiting. Northern Europe has become extremely popular over the last few years. And by Celebrity Cruises being able to take a more condensed geographical area, we are able to create some absolutely amazing itineraries. Our culinary, when you step on board a Celebrity Cruise ship, you know that you're going to be able to savor a new restaurant 
at every meal made from scratch by 200 chefs from around the world, led by a Michelin-starred chef, our culinary ambassador, Chef Danielle Bully. Our service, experience the world at your service with personalized touch from ship to shore. And of course, being the first cruise line to be Forbes Travel Guide rated, you will find that all of our crew members have a consistent and constant smile on their faces and are always welcoming our guests and always happy to help. And of course, the details of our ship. If you've sailed with celebrity cruises before, you've seen the evolution of the incredible design of our ships. And the Apex is truly a wonder within our fleet, featuring the incredible Grand Plaza. We'll see some of these pictures coming up pretty soon. But just know that we've enlisted some of the world's best designers to focus on your comfort down to the smallest detail. And of course, well-being. It's important to mix and to balance that incredible go, go, go spirit with some rest and relaxation to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. So no matter how you choose to do that on board Celebrity Cruises, we welcome it and it is available to you. So what makes the Celebrity Apex unique? So we're going to go through some of the unique features featured within the Celebrity Apex. And one of the main distinct features of Celebrity Apex and within our Celebrity Edge series, quite frankly, is that we've gone ahead and taken that one main traditional dining room and created four main restaurants. So all four of these are included in the cruise fare, and you have the opportunity to kind of do a dine around if you wish. If you, you know, staying as the group, our team will work with the Single Travels International team on making sure that you get to experience the very best of all of the culinary options on board. So the four main dining rooms that we have here in Celebrity Apex is Cyprus, which is a Mediterranean flair, Normandy is French, Tuscan is Italian, and Cosmopolitan is American fusion. So each of these uh, restaurants will feature about 30% of a unique menu that is distinct and unique to that particular restaurant, while also featuring about 60% of the same rotating menu of that classical dining that we've all come to love um, from cruising itself. Another unique feature on the Celebrity Apex is the magic carpet. Yes, that orange uh, apparatus that you see hanging from the side of the ship. We promise it was there. It's intentional and it's purposeful and it serves as several different functions throughout the voyage. So as you can see on the picture on the right, it is currently placed at deck 14, which sits just off of our resort deck, allowing for a bar lounge and extension of the resort and pool area. As you can see, it's about the size of a tennis court. So it's quite large capacity for about a hundred featuring a bar um, that's available with drinks throughout the day. And it just provides an amazing opportunity, our magic carpet for our guests to soar through the sea as they travel to their different destinations. Then it can also be positioned to deck 16, where it allows for um, taking in those incredible views, again, right off the resort deck. Then in the evening time, we'll generally see that it's brought down to deck five, because that's where most of our guests are um, gathering in the evening time is deck five where most of our menu, our restaurants and our entertainment is. So it provides an evening option for an additional bar area on board um, Celebrity Apex. And then if there is a tender port, which there doesn't happen to be any on board this sailing, but if there was a tender port, it would go down to deck two and serve as that tender embarkation area. So again, a multifunctional, really unique space, uh, distinct and unique to Celebrity Cruises. So let's take a look at some of the accommodations featured on board Celebrity Apex. As you can see, we feature the infinite balconies on board Celebrity Apex. That is where you have the ability to bring the outdoors in. And sailing to a cooler weather climate, this really allows for you to take in those beautiful floor-to-ceiling glass window views as you're sailing through the fjords, going sailing into Sweden, or just sailing through the North Sea, because it can get a little blustery and a little windy out there. Um, but if you do wish to bring that outdoor air in, just with the touch of a button, you can press that and down will come your window and convert into your balcony. What is so beautiful about this infinite balcony is that it provides some additional space for you in your room itself. Um, I promise you there is plenty of storage for all of your luggage, um, for all of your toiletries, shoes, whatever it may be that you happen to overpack on. We welcome it at Celebrity Cruises. It is available for you and there's plenty of storage space. And then of course, taking a look at the incredible size of the bathrooms on board Celebrity Apex, plenty of storage room, a great size shower and plenty of space to get ready um, in the, throughout the day and throughout your voyage. 
So some of the other spaces on board Celebrity Apex, we have a beautiful indoor pool, our solarium. That is for guests 16 and over, and it is just a very quiet, soothing, and um, serene space featuring two hot tubs and a pool um, and plenty of plush loungers. And as you can see, just those floor-to-ceiling glass views, you can get a great spot as you're sailing through the North Sea and just taking it all in as you're cozy and comfy, whether it be for an afternoon nap or after a morning swim. And then if some of you are brave enough and the weather is cooperative, I dare you to join us on the resort deck, a really beautiful 25 yard length pool with great loungers, again, a hot tub as well, um, that martini shaped glass that you see in the upper right picture, that is actually our hot tub, they are shaped like martini glasses. Um, but we do host some really unique events out here in the evening time. And as you can see, the resort deck on the Celebrity Apex does feature uh, hands forming the shape of a heart as our art installation on board Celebrity Apex. Some additional spaces here, starting from the top left, we have our beautiful sunset bar, a great place to grab a drink, whether in the morning or the afternoon, I don't judge. Um, but as you're sailing in and out of your different destinations, this is a great place to get a great view of those different destinations. Then on the lower left, we have a picture of Eden. This is the Eden restaurant, one of our specialty restaurants featuring a beautiful kitchen with some beautiful play on some traditional classic dishes. Then in the center, we have our martini bar. The martini bar is perfectly positioned in our grand plaza, which is our three-story open air space, um, providing views from all decks three, four, and five providing just some really great areas for our guests um, between the martini bar with our flair bartenders. Um, and then of course, looking in from all of the other specialty restaurants or as you're making your way from the theater to our restaurants or vice versa, there is always plenty of time to stop and do some really great people watching at the martini bar as well. On the upper right, we have our rooftop garden, a really wonderful, quiet, quaint space um, with featuring real live grass and topiaries that our horticulturists take care of daily. We do have a large screen out there, so we do broadcast movies throughout the day and into the evening. And depending on the weather, we can also host live functions out there as well. So really beautiful spaces. No matter where you choose to hang out on Celebrity Apex, they are all welcoming and inviting to all of our guests. So some of the days at sea, you'll be able to enjoy a lot of this, and we'll get into some of the other uh, activities and details of the days at sea. So let's dive into this incredible cruise itinerary. It is a 11 night round trip Southampton with six ports, four sea days and one overnight. As I mentioned, really digging into those destination details and our destination overview, bringing in a smaller geographical area allows for us to spend more time in the destinations that we're visiting and even allowing for late nights and overnight. So as you can see here, you'll be able to enjoy an overnight in one unique city. So your sailing will depart out of Southampton on June 17th. Southampton is just about an hour, a little bit more by train from London being the closest city, but it is a really a great bustling port city with so much history, shopping opportunities, great restaurants, and of course, some superb pubs. So if you have some time either before or after your cruise, I encourage you to visit this very well-known city. And of course, it also is located on England's southern coast, um, and it has a deep connection with World War II. So if you are a World War II or history buff, um, it used to be used as a staging area for um, the attacks on D-Day. And it's also the home port to the well-known Queen Mary II. So it has a very deep, rich history as being one of the most um, first gateways really over to Europe from the U.S., um, being Southampton itself. So. Um, we'll embark from there and you'll have a beautiful sail away out of Southampton, England. So then you'll have a day to really get yourself acquainted with Celebrity Apex. It's not a very large ship. It holds about 2,900 guests. Um, but what it does is that it allows for the guests to disperse evenly throughout the days. So the ship will never feel crowded. So while, while at sea, you can take the time to recharge after maybe that long flight across the pond and start to really get into that really wonderful vacation mode. Uh, so you're re relaxing and recharging for that next adventure, maybe lounging by the pool, spoiling yourself at the spa. We have an incredible spa on board. Um, you can taste the delicacies or explore the venues on board until we arrive at our next amazing destination. 
One of my favorite things to do is that in Eden, which is located on deck five in the aft of the ship, it provides a really wonderful ramp area that is open to three different decks and it's very quiet in the morning. So it's great if you feel like reading a book, catching up on some crossword puzzles or Wordle. And what else is really unique is that not a lot of people know, but in Eden itself features Eden Cafe. That is our open for breakfast and lunch, grab and go, quick breakfast or lunch bites. Um, and it's just a different area to grab lunch as opposed to always going up to our Ocean View Cafe, which is our traditional buffet area as well. So plenty to do on your day at sea. Our activities team does an amazing job of planning over 18 hours worth of activities from 6 a.m. all the way up till 2 a.m. So there is always something going on at Celebrity Cruises and for all different types of um, uh energy levels as well. So depending on what you like to do, there will be something available or nothing at all. So then get ready because the next day we are arriving in Copenhagen, Denmark. Copenhagen, Denmark, you'll be there overnight. So you really do have a full 24 hours to explore this incredible city. So what I love so much about Denmark, and I have done an itinerary very similar to this one here, hitting on all of those Scandinavian capital cities. Um, but it's a beautiful, it's just amazing how walkable and how well um, kept many of these cities are with the nice blend of the history and the modernization. The culture really blends together and you can see how prominent their history is and how proud they are of their history in the Scandinavian capitals while also embracing modern technology, modern ways of um, life as well. So it's nice to always see that blend of history and modernization. So, of course, home in C Copenhagen is Tivoli Gardens, which is an incredible, beautiful garden area. Um, you can witness the changing of the guard at the palace or tour the Kronberg Castle. So plenty of opportunities to really mix in that history with some of the modernization as well. And, of course, Kronberg Castle being the setting to Shakespeare's Hamlet. Um, it's interesting to see also that um, Copenhagen is known for being um, not only one of the most cosmopolitan Nordic capitals in um, uh, Scandinavia, but also with some of the most happiest locals on earth. So don't take our word for it, but there are surveys that it is not only uh, not only just a cheerful city, but it really is just a very happy city full of happy locals. And then, of course, beautiful short boat rides uh, down its waterways past scenic landmarks, old and new. So plenty to do in between your two days, and I'm sure there will be great opportunities to um, enrich yourself with the local cuisine and culture, whether it be a night out for dinner, um, and also some of the nightlife as well. So then after a full 24 hours, two days in Copenhagen, we are back at sea, again, taking that rest and recharge before that next adventure, because these are longer days, and you do have a lot of walking and ex exercise and activities going on, uh, so being able to enjoy the quiet of the solarium may be your thing or going for a brisk walk or jog on the mat, on the uh, jogging track outside that does feature a natural incline. So it does provide some additional incline for our guests. And it's not just the straight, you know, going around the pool deck eight times to equal a mile. It is pretty scenic as you go along. Um, and then don't forget to see some of our incredible production shows as well. Uh, but next up, don't stay out too late because you have an early arrival into Stockholm, Sweden. I have to say, do not miss the sail in or the sail away from Stockholm, Sweden. No matter where you are on the ship, please make sure that you are have an outdoor view, um, whether it be from your infinite balcony, ordering in that incredible room service, some coffee and some light breakfast before you gear up and charge up for the incredible activities for that day. But just take in the peaceful and quiet and stillness as you slowly sail into the incredible fjords of, of Stockholm itself. It was one of the most picturesque uh, sail-ins and sail I've ever experienced. I experienced it once from the hot tub, um, which was also providing a great vantage point. But I can only imagine from that incredible infinite balcony, just the views that it will provide. Um, what's very interesting is that there's 14 different islands um, with fit over 50 bridges um, connecting to Sweden's capital here in Stockholm uh, to its mainland. And also something that's so unique about Scandinavia, nothing that I ever really thought to consider was just how incredible, how incredibly bright all of these incredible row houses and buildings are. Sometimes when you think of these older, uh, more dreary like uh, 
cities or ports, you don't really think of how much color there is, but the color could confuse you to think that you're actually in the Caribbean. So absolutely stunning. And of course, you can visit the Open Air Museum of Skansen. There's also uh, located on one of the islands. And then of course, that fascinating maritime Vasa Museum. So the Vasa Museum is really quite an interesting story. It is an entirely wood ship that was built and they put it out into the harbor. And I think it was about 200 meters into its uh, maiden voyage. It started sinking. Um, it stayed there for quite some time until they decided to actually raise it out of the bay and they reconstructed it and restored it. And it now sits in this vast Vasa Museum. Um, really quite incredible. So if you are a maritime lover, history buff, or you just enjoy the um, the museums, this is an incredible op option not to miss. But I would be remiss if I didn't say that, of course, Stockholm, Sweden is home to ABBA. So if you happen to be an ABBA fan, there is an incredible ABBA museum, uh, actually located not far from the Vasa Museum. So if you plan your day right, you can hopefully hit both of those areas. But Stockholm is a very walkable city, and there's an incredible um, bus system through the hop-on, hop-off buses that allows you to really see a lot of the um, high points as you're traveling through these incredible cities. So then it's back on board by 5 p.m. because next, you're in your next ne uh, Scandinavian capital city of Helsinki. Um, Helsinki occupies a peninsula and several islands. This capital city's stunning structures surround some of the most spectacular bays you could ever hope to find. And while these Scandinavian cities are freezing and below frigid temperatures in the wintertime, in the summer, they boast a lot of sunlight and, of course, cooler temperatures than I'm used to in Florida in the summertime. So it's a nice reprieve from the summer heat for me. Um, but it really provides just beautiful um, vistas and views no matter where you are in the city. And again, that really modern um, take on life while also mixing in a lot of their culture and history from before. Um, so of course you can stroll down broad tree lined streets or take in the amazing neoclassically designed architecture in Senate Square. So really beautiful areas there. And then you have an entire day. I mean, really you have 11 hours to experience from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. So plenty of opportunities to immerse yourself in the local culture, whether it be through the cuisine or the beverages, there are plenty of local pubs and bars and local cuisine to immerse yourself in throughout the day. And then you're on to the next stop. Now you're in Tallinn, Estonia. And what's so unique about Tallinn, Estonia is how unchanged it has really been since its founding in 1154 AD. Um, the preservation of the city's old world charm enables visitors to enjoy architectural marvels of centuries past, such as the soaring towers of Tumpia Castle, and the exquisite Russian Orthodox Cathedral. Um, it's really beautiful because it is just amazingly just ornate and beautiful. And while there is so much of that Russian Orthodox um, history and influence, um, you know, unfortunately, many of our, our sailings prior to 2020 included a stop in St. Petersburg, Russia, where you could really see where the Russian Orthodox ornateness and the churches and just all of the um, uh, immaculate detail that they put into their design. So being able to see it influence throughout the rest of the region allows for you to understand and take in a little bit more of that. Um, of course, there's the ancient church inspires and the Baroque architecture. Um, they're intermingling with the modern glass building that echo the many influences and culture that have left their imprint throughout the century. So again, really seeing the influence of the cultures and the history throughout the different areas um, of, and, of, of times past as well. So a nice long day in Tallinn, Estonia. Again, you know, all of our, our ports, we really do um, get in as close as we can. And Tallinn, Estonia is pretty much the closest port that you'll get to into actually Tallinn itself. Um, there's plenty of taxis available. There are the hop on hop off buses. Those are very popular if you choose not to take a shore excursion. But of course, if you take a short excursion, I know Singles Travel International puts together some really wonderful programs. Um, and then there are some really wonderful short excursions through Celebrity as well. Then of course, it's a day at sea. You just had three really long days exploring incredible Scandinavian capitals. So get back on board. By now, the Celebrity Apex is your second home. You've made friends, whether through Singles Travel International, through other travelers, and you've found your routine of what you like to do, where you like to eat. Maybe today is about trying something new. 
I'm sure our raw on five, which is our sushi restaurant is open for lunch, as well as Le Grand Bistro. Their burgers are phenomenal. Um, and then there's probably some matinee shows to take advantage of, or maybe it's again, resting and recharging for that next day. Because the next day is our final port of this incredible cruise, and we're going to make it our way to Skagen, Denmark. Um, and it's a Danish port town that is rife with nautical charm, rugged and beautiful. Skagen is a favored tourist destination, especially in the summer months with its long coastline and pleasant atmosphere. Again, areas that you maybe never thought to visit in the in you know, having to visit in the summer, how cold they get in the wintertime, but really just having these beautiful sunsets, the beautiful coastlines, especially for our maritime and our sailor enthusiasts. This is a great way to really experience um, Skagen itself. Um, plenty of history and culture, whether it's the arts or if you're looking to get outdoors and stay active, you can take a tractor ride to Grenin, or which is the geographical tip of Denmark where the Skagen, uh, Skagerrak Sea and the Katagak Sea meet. So um, just some really unique um, options there as well. So beautiful area here in Skagen. Again, a full day to really explore before heading back to the beautiful Celebrity Apex for your final day at sea. Taking advantage of all of the things, maybe you were like, oh, I'll get to that. Um, you know, taking your final stab at, at um, trivia, maybe some deal or no deal. Again, our teams are always putting together really incredible programs throughout the voyages. Um, but I would be remiss if I didn't say visit and take advantage of all of the different production shows and activities that we that we put on throughout the evenings. Uh, Celebrity Apex has three production shows that you'll see each year uh, throughout your voyage on different evenings. Show times are 7 and 9 p.m. But then we also offer some unique um, uh, experiences in different areas of our ships, such as the club. We put on a really unique, intimate show that is dedicated to the club it's called caravan and it's all about kind of the circus under the big red top um, with incredible aerialist acrobatics and then in eden in the evening time which is why we call it our transformational space space excuse me it goes from chillful to playful to wonderful so in the evening it really takes on a different persona and ability to really create these beautiful shows throughout the voyage called uh, Night of Dreams, Night of Wonder, and there are more intimate Cirque du Soleil shows. So while there is plenty to do at uh, during the day with our activities team, there's just even more to do so at night. So with your 11 nights, you really have a great opportunity to take a, a little bit of time and visit each of our different uh, production shows or casting experiences um, and just enjoy the different bars around the ship as well. Um, so enjoy your last sea day on board Celebrity Apex and just start dreaming about where are you going to take Celebrity Cruises next before your next uh, port, which will bring us back to Southampton, England. Uh, sorry, that says depart, but you'll actually arrive by 6 a.m. So whether uh, you have a flight to catch later that day or you're going to experience some more time in England, um, transfers, of course, are available um, for post experiences, um, whether it's back to the airport or into London City Center or wherever your travels may take you. Um, but really just in taking the um, taking solace and knowing that you had an amazing trip through the Scandinavian capitals. Um, and I wish I was joining you. So have a wonderful time. If you choose to do this cruise, you'll be absolutely dazzled by the different Scandinavian uh, and Baltic capitals. And having a great time connecting with your uh, fellow uh, STI friends as well. So as a thank you for attending tonight, um, uh, we have a great offer for you that if you book your veranda or above by March 5th, 2024, you'll receive an additional $100 on board credit, which can be used for anything, whether pre-cruise or once you get on board to enjoy from Celebrity Cruises. So thank you all so much. And I will turn it back over to Tammy. Thank you, Christina. That was wonderful. And I was really interested to see what Skagen had to offer because that was a new destination for me. Um, I've been lucky enough to be at some of those other destinations in my past. And um, I know you do truly wish you could come with us because you are a wanderlust girl. So um, thanks for the offer of the extra $100 onboard credit. At this time, I would... Um, going to take the screen over and show our members how to make the reservation on our website. So if you are familiar with us, you can find 
all of the trips on the home page by doing a search in the search box, but I did a little bit of an advance um, to get to the, um, the Scandinavia trip right away. So you don't have to, but if you go to the home page and you just click Scandinavia and the drop down, you will easily find this trip. It looks so peaceful. <laughs> um, so uh, all you have to do is click on the price my trip or book now, right? So this button right here, will show you how to do it. And I wanna let you know what we're offering. So Christine's offering $100 if you book the veranda or higher by March 5th. Now we have, for our premium members, you save $3,600 on, um, on the category uh, that's up to 3670. So that's on the, the book now page. You'll be able to see all the different categories and all the different savings. And premium membership is just a way for you to get better prices on your own space. We also know that our 50 plus singles don't want to share cabins anymore. So we focus on finding cruises where we're able to give our singles their own space for less. So you're going to save up to 3670 3, on your own cabin. You're also going to have an unlimited classic drink package. You're going to receive free Wi-Fi. And we have a pre-night package in London. So when you fly in, you'll come into the city of London. You'll uh, make your way over to the hotel. You'll meet all of your fellow travelers, our concierge, will be at the hotel to greet you, receive you, and organize everything from that point forward. That's the nice thing about traveling with us is that uh, we have a professional, friendly, and helpful leader that we call a concierge. And uh, he or she will take up everything for you. So all you have to do is show up and have a good time. So lots of great value. You saw a wonderful itinerary. Um, this trip is now open for you. And um, we, we uh, hope that we get a chance to host you. Um, I know that somebody here in the room tonight will be having a birthday this week. So I hope she jumps on right away uh, so as to not to miss this great opportunity. At this time, because we do have several members in our Zoom meeting, we're going to move to a Q&A session, and I'm going to go ahead and um, end our video recording right now. So for those of you who are watching us on uh, YouTube, thank you for joining us, and please visit us at www.singlestravelintl.com so that we can start to travel the world together with you.